Hey guys, welcome back to another 3D printing video. So 2019 was a great year for 3D printers. So in this video, I chose three printers that I thought were the most impactful, at least for me, and seem to have the best value for the money. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let's get started. So if you've been around for a little while, you know that I've been doing 3D printing for about a year now. And it all started with a small printer that I bought on eBay and did a little review on it and was very confused about how to use one, but shortly learned and got really interested into 3D printing and that's how the 3D printing bug bit me. And not only that, people seemed to like that video so I decided to make more. One thing led to another and here I am reviewing 3D printers. So the three printers that we see up here is the Ender 3 here on the left left and then the artillery sidewinder or x1 sidewinder in the middle and then we have the resin printer from eligo called the mars and i feel like these three printers here made the most impact at least to me now i chose these printers because these are the printers that i've reviewed i'm sure there's plenty of other printers out there that are also great but from what i've tested so far these are my choices all right so let's start with the ender 3 here so the ender 3 is a classic I mean, this thing has been around for a while and it has made a name for itself. And the reason I put it in this video as one of my favorites is because I feel like the Ender 3 being the medium format printer still has the charm that it had from the beginning, which gets you interested in 3D printing. And because it delivers the print quality that most machines really lack, the Ender 3 always holds up its value in the market, even though it's quite an old machine now. So this is the Ender Pro. It has the magnetic removable bed, which makes it really easy to pop off prints. And also the Pro does have a little better powder supply here. It's thinner and more reliable. There are a few mods on this printer that I've done, and I do have all the videos of the original unboxing and review. So if you wanna see a more detailed overview of this printer and some of the things that I've upgraded on and made it better, so there'll be some links below, so check that out. Now, even though the Ender 3 is an excellent machine overall, it does require a little bit of tuning, some minor upgrades, tweaking, and all that stuff. And that makes it actually fun also because you get to learn your printer and you get to upgrade it and make it better as you get to enjoy the fun of 3D printing. But with that said, let's go to our next printer, which is the Artillery Sidewinder X1. Now this printer kind of came out of nowhere. This company doesn't really make too many printers that I know of, but they really nailed this one out of the park. And the reason why is because everything they did to this printer was just on the next level. And this being a large format printer, we get a very large bed. 300 by 300 by 400 high. So you can see how tall this printer can print. Very tall. This printer is massive and it's got a really nice and slick design. It does have a beautiful UI with a touchscreen. Ultra base bed that grips the prints and when it cools it just pops off. We have an AC heating pad with insulation which heats the bed at a very quick rate. Optical sensors for all the end stops. And here's where all the magic is. So we have a direct drive extruder that gives you the options to print TPU and other exotic materials, kind of like wood filament, that makes this printer capable of a lot more than just PLA. And the wire management on this printer is also amazing. We just have these ribbon cables and they're really nicely tucked and it's just a clean looking printer. It also has dual Z-axis leads that are actually tethered between each other. And so that makes it very precise on the Z-axis travel. So as far as a large format 3D printer goes and everything that it offers, like the ultra quiet board and the tank-like build, this printer really blows a lot of printers out of the water. So if you want a large format 3D printer, the artillery will not disappoint. And so for my third choice here, I have the Eligo Mars and this printer revolutionized the resin printing or at least got it jump started because all of a sudden there was a printer that can print 
ultra high quality that everyone can afford. And Elegu Mars here is such a great resin printer for anyone to begin with and get amazing prints. I feel like this printer deserves the recognition for being the best resin printer you can buy for the price. So, so this video is more of an overview of the top three printers that I thought were quite significant in 2019. But this was a hard choice to make because there's so many good printers out there and they're all getting so close to playing on the same field of build quality and print quality and just all the features that they offer. So now you have my opinion on what 3D printers I would recommend as the top three. So if you're interested in any of these three printers, I have a review for each one, the Ender 3, the Sidewinder X1, and the Elegu Mars. And also guys, there'll be some links in the description where you can get these printers down below, so check that out. And if you guys enjoy 3D printing videos, I do a lot of those, and I'll be doing a lot more in 2020. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button to see more. And as always guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.